Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can call POST API in Angular. So first we will understand what is POST API. Then we will make a form. We will get data from this form. We will have to make a service function so that we can uh, call POST API there. And for POST API we will write some code. At last we will discuss some important interview questions. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first question is what is POST API? So POST uh, API or you can say that POST method API. This is basically used for store the data in database through API. So uh, basically we have four or five kind of APIs. Get API is uh, basically used for get the data from database. POST API is used for store the data. Put and patch is used for uh, update the data and delete method is basically used for delete the data from uh, database. So here uh, we are talking about POST API. So obviously we will store the data in our JSON server. Alright. So now let's move on the code and create a form. So what I'll do there, uh, I will create a form just about to this uh, list so that whenever we will add the data in the form we can also update this list after storing the data all right okay so let me create a form there and there you can create a id with this so let's say my form id is user form and that will be a part of ng form right and inside this let me create three input fields first one for placeholder enter name and its name is also name and their ng model we have to add there ng model is basically bind this input field with this for a uh, user form after that to make some space between two fields i am adding two br tag if you want you can use css also there now let's put there enter email for email field and last one is uh, h with the name of H and we also need a button and here we can mention add user and let's create a ng event also there ng submit and there uh, what we can do ng model uh, or any function let's say not ng model actually uh, add user let me create the with the name of this function and there we have to pass the value of this form so put there user form dot values but now you can get some error there on the ui first one no directive found with export as ng form for this what you need to do go to the app dot component dot ts and import this form modules right uh, and uh, put there so you can simply say that forms module and now this error should be gone but again add user is not exist so let's create this function because we are calling this function right okay so now add user and we will get their uh, data right so user and the type of this will be the users which we created in the last part but it will not be array because we are adding only single user now you can console.log user and uh, if i just click over there anil let's say anil at the rate test and some age and if i just click over there you can see that uh, okay let me clean and see that, that again so we are getting this data now we have to send this data to the api so what we will do there in the user dot service dot ts create a post api and for that you can create a method with the name of get uh sorry save users and we already created the same function uh, with the name of get user. So let me copy this and make some changes so that we can save some time there. And name is save user. After that, uh, we will pass back only single user, not array. And again, the this API will also return only single user. We have to make it post. And after making this post, post first one is. Uh, Mm -mm -mm. yeah we have to pass some data also the data we will get from here right so what i do will do there let me call this function save users there this dot uh, user service dot save user and here we'll pass the user then we have to subscribe it 
and with the subscribe we will get the data back again its type will be uh, you can say that user only and here let's print this user data basically you can say that and now we are passing the user so we have to just get it user there with the data type of user and now let's pass our user as a second parameter there right so this is the data this is our method name and this is the url cool now uh, okay type of user uh, user refer to a value but okay i don't know if i just make something wrong yeah so this is the type so we have to use it capital u right now this is perfectly working fine okay so let's fill the data uh, and putting the name vine uh, vine at test and uh, yeah because let me put there vine only yeah, and age is let's say 30 if i just click over there in the network you will see that there is api should be called the data is there uh, and post api is also there and but there nothing is updated even if you want to check this api over the uh, url now we have five users with the vine name also but we also need to refresh it once if you want to reflect the changes there but uh, as a user i will not uh, refresh it it should be automatically come there so what i need to do, do there so api is perfectly called there is no issue but we have to call this user api again after adding one more user so what i can do there i will create one more function get user and inside this let's paste it yeah and uh, then uh, what we'll do there this dot get user like this we, we can call this and if data is also there data then we can say that this dot get user and here we go now it should be perfectly fine and let me use one more user there let's say ashwi ashwi at the rate test and let's say age is 20. so if i just click over there you can see that ashwi is also added there so this is how we can call post api and refresh data after api without uh, refreshing the page so if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like this video share uh, uh, this video with your friends and subscribe channel this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks everyone